Hey everyone, it's nice to have you back in our series on using the PanOS Python SDK. Now in our previous video, we journeyed through some of the SDK's methods and how they empower us to influence and alter the objects within the SDK. So if you missed that one, make sure to check it out. It's almost a prerequisite to at least understanding how we're going to be performing some of these order of operations in our video today. But in this video, we're going to shift gears just a little bit and talk about something that's equally important, which is how to build configurations for Panorama. Now, specifically, we're going to dissect three main components. We're going to talk about device groups and templates and template stacks. We'll also mention template variables. All these components make up the backbone of Panorama, which is Palo Alto Network's centralized management system for their PanOS firewalls. You can think of Panorama as the control center for managing network security policies and device configurations. But what's more, knowing how to build these configurations using the SDK isn't just a cool trick, it's a must-have skill, and we're here to help you pick up that skill. So step by step, piece by piece, whether you're a seasoned Panorama user or this is all new to you, we're going to get you to understand how to maneuver device groups, templates, template stacks, and variables in Panorama using the PanOS Python SDK. So grab a cup of coffee, fire up your code editor, and let's go ahead and hit the ground running. Now at its core, Panorama serves as the command center for your organization's network security. It's a centralized management system that allows you to oversee all of your firewalls from a single location. This centralization not only simplifies management tasks, but also enhances efficiency, making your life significantly easier. That's a good thing, right? Now let's explore how Panorama achieves this scalability. There's these four essential components that come into play. Device groups, templates, variables, and template stacks. The device groups function as a classification for your firewalls. You can group firewalls based on any criteria that makes sense to you, whether it's based on the geographical location, the function it plays within the organization, what department owns the firewalls, etc. Once your firewalls are grouped, any policies or other security configuration that you apply to the device group is going to be applied to all of its members. It's like each device group forms a unique club with specific rules that all of its members adhere to. Device groups also enable you to use pre or post rules across multiple firewalls, providing a really flexible and efficient policy management mechanism. Now, templates, on the other hand, these serve as the blueprints for your firewalls, network and device configurations. Let's say you need to apply a specific network setting across numerous firewalls. Instead of configuring each firewall individually, you can find these settings once in a template and then apply that template across multiple firewalls through stacks. And then we have template stacks. Just as the name suggests, these are stacks of templates that you apply to your devices. It's like a playlist of configurations that play out on each of the firewalls. A template stack can include one or multiple templates, allowing you to layer your configuration for maximum flexibility and control. And finally, we have template variables. Now, these act like placeholders within your templates. They allow for device specific values, enabling you to maintain the flexibility to accommodate for unique firewall configurations while using the same base templates. In essence, all four of these components, the device groups, the templates, the variables, and stacks, they work together to create a comprehensive and scalable network configuration management process. They are the backbone of Panorama's efficiency and convenience, taking the headache out of network management. Let's bring this concept to life with some code. We're going to be using the SDK to create the device group on Panorama, and trust me, it's much simpler than you might imagine. First and foremost, we need to establish a connection to Panorama. To do this, 
We're going to create a panorama object and provide the necessary credentials. With this, we've successfully established an object that represents our connection to the panorama instance. Next, let's go ahead and create a device group object. We're going to call this one branch offices, which will we'll go ahead and represent all the firewalls across my organization's branch offices. Now, having created our device group, the next step is to add it to the panorama object. To do this, we're going to call the add method on the panorama object and then call the create method on the device group. Now, how awesome is that? Using the SDK, we've created a device group and pushed it to the remote panorama appliance. However, our work is not yet done. At the moment, our device group is just basically an empty shell. It's time to populate it with some firewalls that's going to share the common attributes that we've designated for this group. Let's go ahead and create three firewall objects and add them to our branched offices device group. We'll name these firewall objects Lab Firewall 01, 02, and 03, and then use the serial parameter to identify each of the firewalls. This is just a really basic example, y'all. In the real world, you're going to have multiple device groups representing different parts of your organization. You could use more complex criteria to group your firewalls, but the underlying principle is still the same. Device groups are here to provide a powerful way to manage your firewall security configuration at scale. Now keep in mind that device groups are just one part of Panorama's configuration management. They focus explicitly on all things related to the security configuration. So this would be things like address objects, security policies, NAT policies, decryption profile, all that stuff. In our next segment, we're going to take a look at templates, which focus in on the network and the device settings. A template is going to allow us to define a group of network settings and device settings that we want to apply across multiple firewalls. For instance, you might want all of your firewalls to have the same DNS or domain settings, or enable DHCP servers at our branch offices. So instead of creating these settings on each firewall individually, we can define them in a template and then apply that template across multiple firewalls through stacks. But enough talking, let's go ahead and see templates in action. And similar to device groups, we're going to start off by creating a template object. Let's call this template standard settings. Once we have our template, we're going to add it to the panorama instance and then call the create method. Well, right now, this template doesn't have any settings. Let's go ahead and add an Ethernet interface and a security zone to our template. We're going to set up Ethernet 1 as a layer 3 interface and also create a new security zone named WAN associated with this interface. So what you see here is that we've created the Ethernet interface and the security zone, and we've applied it to the standard settings template. This means that any firewall that this template is applied to will automatically have this interface and security zone created. All right, so we got our template set up. But how do we apply these to our devices? Well, that's where the template stacks come to play. Template stacks are kind of like a stack of papers, with each paper being a template that has specific settings. It's essentially a container for one or more templates that we want applied to our firewalls. Let's see how to create a template stack and assign it to our device. First things first, we need to import the template stack class from the Panorama module. Now, let's create a template stack and we'll call it stack1. We'll associate it with the standard settings template that we just created. Remember, you can add multiple templates to a stack, but for simplicity, I'm just going to be adding one for now. After we create the template stack, we're going to need to add it to our panorama instance. 
This process should look fairly familiar to you by now. At this point, we got our template stack created in Panorama. Now it's time to add our devices to the stack. We're going to add our lab firewall one that we just added to the device group. And there you have it. We've successfully created our template stack and we've linked it to our device. Now the settings from the standard settings template that we just created are now going to be inherited by lab firewall 01. And finally, we have our template variables. Now these act like placeholders within the templates and the template stacks. They hold a spot for values that to be provided when the template is applied to a specific firewall. This means that you can use the same template or stack across different firewalls while still having the ability to use unique values for each firewall by filling in these placeholders with the appropriate data. Now here we've created some variables with the name of DNS primary and DNS secondary. And yes, the dollar sign is a mandatory first character in the name. We've enforced what type of the variable these will be, and we've assigned them with the default value. Now these values can be overwritten, but for now let's go ahead and keep the examples quite simple. Now let's add our newly minted variables to our standard settings template. Template variables can be applied to the template, the stack, or a specific device. This gives us complete control over what the values are for each one of our variables. Now let's go ahead and update our template to use these variables. As you can see, our DNS servers for both the primary and secondary are currently not set. So I'm going to go ahead and import from panos.device module the system settings class object. We're going to create two new system settings objects, one to host the DNS primary and one to host the DNS secondary. And as you might expect, we're going to go ahead and attach these at the template level. Now we could go down a layer further and attach them to the template stack, or we could even go down a layer further than that and attach them directly to the object or the firewall object itself. But for this example, again, keep things nice and simple helps drive the point home. And running the create method on these objects will actually push them to the remote template. As you can see, looking at our DNS servers, the variables have been successfully applied. Amazing. How cool is that? It's really cool. I'll answer it for you. Well, that brings us to the end of our video today. We covered quite a bit of ground, so let's go ahead and recap. We started off by introducing Panorama and its role in managing multiple Palo Alto Networks firewalls. We then delved into the concept of device groups and how they can be used to manage security configuration across logical groups of firewalls. Next, we explored templates and template stacks which are a powerful tool in Panorama for creating consistent network and device settings across our firewalls. 
Finally, we looked at template variables, which add flexibility in our templates. These placeholders allow us to use the same template across different firewalls, but with slight modifications, saving us from the need to create separate templates for each unique setting. Now that we've covered these concepts, I encourage you to try them out for yourself. Go ahead and create your own device groups and templates and variables and see how they can be applied on our firewalls using stacks. Remember, the best way to truly grasp these concepts is by getting your hands dirty and experimenting with your own configs. Do it in a safe environment though. <laughs> People won't be happy if you start making changes to the production firewalls <laughs> just because you're learning. Don't be that person. Now in our next video, we're going to take a real life example of a production Palo Alto Networks Panorama appliance, and we're going to show you how to construct it from scratch using the PanOS Python SDK. I encourage you to stick around for that. And as always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like it, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated for the latest videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.